Hello and welcome to Java D Point. And today the topic of discussion is procedure in PLSQL. And we have already understood what is procedure. And we have already understood how to pass parameters. And in that we have understood two method that is positional notation and uh, named notation and now the third video which we are creating right now is on method for passing parameter is mixed notation that is combination of positional plus named fine so we'll understand what is mixed notation let's start example of mixed notation so here uh, the example is very same very same example that is we are creating a procedure same add them that is variable one variable 2 variable 3 okay so and we are creating a variable for having data type number so all this variable has this procedure is add num there are three parameters variable 1 variable 2 and variable 3 having data type number 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 and we have also created variable for having data type number then begin section we are printing all this variable 1 variable 2 variable 3 and finally what we are doing we are adding all this variable 1 variable 2 and variable 3 in variable 4 and finally we are printing variable 4 also fine okay so let's see to run our procedure what we do if if we do this if we do this that is variable 3 4 that is variable 3 has value 4 so what will happen variable 3 will have value 4 and then 2 and 5 so 2 and 5 what will what do you think 2 and 5 will come like this no error this is an error not allowed that is first positional notation and then named notation so hope if you remember i have given you one homework that it what is illegal method and what is that homework so this is that was the uh, same line of homework the homework was that you have to identify what that line was trying to tell that line was trying to tell whenever you are using mixed notation see here you are using mixed notation you are using named notation also you are using positional notation also so if you are using mixed notation then make it sure you always use make it sure you always use positional notation first and then named notation what i am saying i am again saying whenever you are using whenever you are using mixed notation then use positional notation first and then named notation okay fine otherwise it will produce an error fine this is an error so what is the correct method what is the legal method so this is this was the illegal method illegal method and now the legal method is 3 that is 3 is a uh, is the is a positional notation so variable 1 will have value variable 1 will have value 3 then variable 3 now now you are using name notation no issue variable 3 is having 2 now variable 3 will have value 2 variable 2 has value 4 whatever you want to do now you can do the moment you run this variable 1 is having value 3 variable 2 is having variable value 4 variable 3 is having value 2 and the sum is 3 4 7 2 9 fine so now you are getting a correct answer okay so these things are theoretical and let me run this value for you okay let me run this procedure for you so i'm discarding and as I have already created add num, so I'll, what I'll do, I'll first drop procedure. So how to drop a procedure? Drop procedure, P-R-O-C-E-D-U-R-E -E procedure, add num, add num. Fine. Since procedure is dropped, now what I'll do, now I will make this procedure again. Okay, control C, control V. Okay, procedure created. Fine. So procedure created now i'll show you the example of mixed notation so mixed notation how to use mixed notation e how to run first e x e c and the name of procedure is add num fine okay now suppose we are using named notation first v a r 3 we are passing variable 3 value as 5 then 2 comma 3 and if we are trying to run this see you will not be able to run this why because it's clearly showing it's clearly showing if you see a positional notation parameter association may not follow named fine that is positional may not follow named name should follow positional positional should not follow named fine so this is clearly showing an error so what is the rect rectification you first use positional and then you can use named so where three now i can use first as named and where to where two 
i in passing value to the moment i run this now so it's fine and it's giving an output variable 1 value 5 very good variable 3 is having value 2 very good variable 2 is having value 3 fine and the sum is 10 fine and procedure executed successfully so this was all about mixed notation and i have tried to explain you what is legal method what is illegal method and one thing which you need to remember very very carefully is that whenever you are using mixed notation always try to call positional notation first and then named notation fine again i'm saying if you are using mixed notation in a function then while calling used put use positional notation first and then mixed notation fine okay so uh, this was all about today's lecture and at last what i'll say i'll say only one thing but thank you so much for watching java t point please like subscribe and share the channel thank you thank you so much